Welcome back. We are expecting to hear from the IEC just after 8 o'clock. We will take that live. To this now, Nisner residents say those voted into power must make the town great again. The Democratic Alliance received over 35% of votes. The ANC finished a close second with more than 33%. Smaller parties, the Patriotic Alliance and the Nisner Independent Movement, say they are open to coalition talks after they secured seats in the council. Here's Ronald Masinda with a wrap from Neisner. Voting is done and dusted. While well, some took some time off on Monday to cast their ballots, millions of other South Africans couldn't be bothered. So what's the election aftermath in Neisner? Let's take to the streets and find out. Residents of Kweleni are divided over the decision to keep ANC councillors. The reason is a councillor today was supported by some of the community. He even brought people drunk, you know, and drove them to the beach, to, to the public uh, meeting of the ANC. Pindile is, is not the person, but we respect the fact that he has won, you know, we will watch him and support him when necessary. Mama, you think you voting, okay? While this year's voting may have had its ups and downs, business owners hope that new leaders at the Neisner local municipality will bring about positive change. If our roads aren't working properly, if the water's not running, if, you know, we've had like almost six months of brown water, nobody's done anything about it. The people of Neisner have had their final say at the polls. And for the next five years, those in power will be watched carefully to see if they will deliver on their promises. For us, it's goodbye from Neisner for now until next time. Ronald Masinda, Neisner.